move the hard coded patients outside the method. Move the hard coded patients outside the method. So I'm going to move this hard coded list of patients. I'm going to move it outside the method because I'm going to be using it uh, a little later. So put it here so that everybody can use it. So it doesn't actually break anything. All right, so. So one thing we've not completed, we've actually not completed the get patients by ID methods. We've not completed get patients by ID method. So let's go and complete it. So this get patients by ID method is going to search through this list of patients and then return the patient with a particular ID. So I'm going to use the stream API uh, available in Java. So to do that, simply write so I'm going to say patient P, uh, patient P is equal to uh, patients.stream. Okay, so patients.stream. Um, dot map. Okay, so that map. Okay, so Patient the stream that map. Patient the stream that filter. Okay, so patient the stream. The nice one. Oh, sorry, sorry about this. Sometimes it escapes my mind how to type this uh, stream. Use the stream API to filter. So we simply dot filter, and we are going to say patients. Uh, such that uh, we have this ID, so that this ID here is is the ID uh, that is it, so that it searches for this ID, this particular ID here. So I'm going to say such patient such that the ID uh, dots equals this ID has to be equal to has to be equal to the ID uh, that we are going to search from here. So I'm going to say uh, ID. okay? But we are not done. So I'm going to say dot find any and dots or else. If it doesn't find anything, just return node, okay? All right. Okay, so hopefully everything is fine. So let's see what do we have here. So we are going to return P. Okay, so everything is perfectly okay at this point. So we are now going to test this admission service. So I'm going to save everything. Let me see where we are. So we are going to test the admission service. So what I'm going to do is to run this application. So I'm going to come here and just so just come to admission service and just say. Uh, runners and I'm going to say runners spring boot up so let's see if everything goes fine so let's see make some room here so you can see it says tomcat started on port 8081 okay so let's go to the browser and then let's try to run it to see if it works http localhost ports 8081 and this time admissions now admissions is fine this is admissions controller but we are now going to go to particular method in admissions controller so that method is going to be slash patients slash patients so you can see it returned the list of patients and everything is working so you can see Gabo uh, Hungarian let me increase this and you can see a Mecca, Nigeria, MLA, American. Okay, let's try to do for particular ID. So let's say slash P, uh, P3. Let's search for someone. So you can see P3, it returns MLA. So we've completed successfully uh, the first step. So let's go take a bottle of beer and celebrate because it's not easy. So everything actually follows this method. We've completed our first 
uh, microservice and that is the admissions microservice actually it's not a microservice for now i'm going to explain to you when it becomes a microservice for now it's just a service uh, that works perfectly all right so the next one we are going to now build the hr service 